I've been performing a lot in the South in the last 18 months or so. I do enjoy it down there. The only time of year I don't like it is hurricane season, for obvious reasons. Uh, but the, really, the reason I hear hurricane season is because anytime a hurricane's about to hit the South, they, uh, the news always goes to the trailer park and they interview someone who refuses to evacuate. And that offends me personally, because I grew up in the trailer park and he's making us all look stupid. <laughs> Anyone here grow up in the trailer park? One person, all right, right away. Single wide or double wide, friend? Double wide? All right, easy there, you one percenter. Hey, double wide? What are you doing with all that extra width? I grew up in a single wide. That's proper trailer living. Single wide. And I don't like my people getting made fun of because my mom would always evacuate us. I travel all over the country and people always assume because I live in California that our big natural disaster is earthquakes. And I always tell them it's not. Like I've been through a dozen earthquakes and this is me in every earthquake. It's me going, I, is that an earthquake? <laughs> and then it's over and I go, I think that was an earthquake. <laughs> nothing happens. Like all my bobbleheads are intact. Like nothing. <laughs> I don't need to call the insurance company, everything's fine. <laughs> Our big thing is fires. Like, I, that's what I tell people. I go, the fires we get are way worse than anything else. And my mom would evacuate us before the fire department would. Like, the fire department would come by and go, hey, you guys gotta go, and that's when people usually evacuate. My mom wouldn't even wait for that. She'd see glowing coming over the hills, and she's like, we're leaving. I'm like, the fire department hasn't even come by. And she's like, we live in a paper house, all right? <laughs> We could burn this thing down with a fart and a scented candle. We're getting the hell out of here. So, my mom was proactive, is what I'm saying. And that's why I don't like my people getting made fun of when they go to the trailer park, because really that one guy they're interviewing is the only guy sticking around. Everyone else left, because they got a brain, all right? That guy's, that guy's the only one. And they go up to him like, hey man, there's a category five hurricane coming right here in three whole days. Are you gonna evacuate? No. Nah. Well, what are you gonna do? We're gonna hunker down. And they go, that's the end of the interview. And they go, back to you. And I'm at home going, I have follow-up questions. <laughs> questions one, two, and three. What the hell is a hunker down? What is that? How does one hunker down? Is there a pamphlet on how to, how do you, how, to, how what's, what is it? You just hunker down. You just dip your head into your shoulders and you just hunker down and the storm goes over and then once it clears, then you de-hunker. I am so sad every time they survive. That's just Mother Nature trying to swift her up a little bit. They miss the hunker. <laughs> what it's like out there. Living it, you know. That's good. 